Hi, welcome back to the Japanese SDF uh, uniforms and equipment. In this episode, we're going to talk about the People's Army of uh, Albania from the 1960s all the way until the 1990s. This uniform is a little bit uh, special in some ways because it was USSR, China, and later on dismantled in the 1990s. So please subscribe to this uh, channel and let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this uh, uniform uh, from uh, Albania itself. So without further ado, I will talk about with a good friend of mine. He will uh, talk more about this uh, uniform and he will uh, let you know what uh, is more interesting to talk about. Yes, I'm uh, wearing the Albanian uniform from the 1960s onward until 1991 when the Albanian People's Republic was disbanded. The uniform is quite simple and uh, if you can see they have no ranks. The rank structure was abolished in 1961 in the Albanian army and this uniform was worn by soldiers, officers, even until the generals. Uh, this is the winter uniform from a coarse wool-like uh, fabric. And I'm wearing it with a traditional Soviet Ushanka, what was worn uh, when on guard duty in the winter. The summer uniforms were from, from a greener uh, cotton, but these uniforms does not exist anymore because they are all completely worn out and destroyed when the uh, People's Republic was disbanded. This is the traditional hat that was introduced in the Albanian army from the Second World War and what you will see most of them wearing in pictures. Can you talk about more about the graphic itself? Why were they uh, deciding to go with the Chinese uh, standard uniform and not with Russia? Uh, they uh, decided to go with a more Chinese uh, style uniform after the Soviet-Albanian split in 1961. Uh, Albania and the Soviet Union uh, weren't longer allies and Albania was looking for a new big ally that can support them. And they chose China because it, this was the biggest uh, communist country in the world after the Soviet Union. And uh, to get more friendly with them, they copied their complete uniform, equipment and etc. everything from their army to the Albanian color scheme and they have a lot of equipment what is completely one-on-one -on -one copy of the Chinese version. So this is also the dress uniform for the winter and it was also a summer uniform, only more lighter greener. Yes, the, 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 the cut of the uniform in the summer and the winter is completely the same. The only difference is, is that the winter uniform has this strange wool-like fabric. It's very cheap. Uh, the Albanian country had a bad economy, so everything from the equipment and the uniforms is very cheaply made and very poor uh, quality. And the uh, summer uniforms were more like this uh, brighter, greener cotton, but sadly the uniforms are very scarce because most of them are uh, destroyed after the country uh, quitted communism. How about the boots? When were they introduced? Uh, that is quite difficult to point out because in all the periods uh, you see low and high boots with rubber soles. The low boots were worn with uh, sort of anklets with three buttons uh, and the high boots like I'm wearing didn't. But their uh, low and high boots are used from the 60s until the 90s. Uh, it's not exactly to point out what the different functions between the low and the high boots were. Okay, so let's go and see what uh, the equipment uh, was actually. They, according to my friend Bud, it was according to Russian USSR uh, uniform and at the same time also Chinese uh, worn uniform. So let's go and look about that uh, for a moment. This is the Albanian People's Army uniform when they were in combat or in combat training. The uniform and the equipment is a unique mix of old Soviet style and uh, modern Chinese uh, equipment from that time. The camouflage uniform is an old Soviet World War II oversmock and trousers. The gas mask bag is also in Soviet style from the uh, Cold War, but the mess tin and the drink cup, what I have on my other side, is more in the Chinese style, like also the munition uh, pouch vest I have. The backpack I have on is a completely unique Albanian uh, design and is used with um, 
with the great coat in it and all the equipment you need for a long time in the field. It wasn't worn in combat, so when they were close to combat, the backpack was going off and they were fighting only with the fighting equipment. Other unique feature of this uniform is the helmet. The helmet is looking like a Chinese model. But the strange thing is that the Albanian had them first. The Albanians used old Soviet helmet, but after the Albanian-Soviet split in 1961, they couldn't use them anymore because they were the enemy. So they asked China to make new helmets for them. The Chinese came with this design and after the Albanians used them, the Chinese used them themselves. Inside of the helmet has a very intricate web design with a pouch for the head. It's one of the better fitting helmets of the 20th century and uh, for their time it was a quite ergonomic and modern design. Also, if you have the helmet off, you can add to put on the gas mask in the most quick time possible. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, this uh, video of the People's Army of Albania from the Cold War era. It was really interesting to see it. So I do hope you will enjoy the next uh, video uh, in next uh, month uh, episode for a special series episodes for other uniforms from the near future. So please subscribe to this uh, channel, like this video and let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this uniform from the People's Army of Albania. See you soon.